Great love. How does it happen? Nobody really knows, but what I can tell you is that it happens in the blink of an eye. Kate moved out to Philadelphia, uh, where my husband and I were living at the time. We had her over, and we were friends with Stephen in college, and uh, had this inkling. We'd heard a rumor that he kind of had this little crush on her, and so we just coincidentally invited Stephen over as well that night. We always slept in the living room floor, and as Kate and I were going to sleep that night, we were talking about Steve, and she's like, I just don't really, I just think we should just be friends. And uh, I went to sleep, <laughs> and the next morning, she's like, Heather, I think I'm going to date Steven. What happened? <laughs> Um, gone out to get a drink of water uh, in the middle of the night and Stephen um, shared his feelings for her and so let that be a lesson you okay but Stephen is always right. <laughs> <laughs> Dear family and friends, we have gathered to celebrate one of life's most significant events, the joining of two lives into one, the celebration of marriage. Stephen and Kate, I know it's your desire to have a godly home. For that desire to be fulfilled, you need a divine builder. There are many enemies that stand against a godly home, but God is for us. If God is for us, who can be against us? Family and friends, I present to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Stephen Blair. In the immortal words of, words of one Kathleen Kelly, I wanted it to be you. I wanted it to be you so much. You are my dreams. You are my fit. And you are my life. I love you.